Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Well, I'm going to do some audio testing on this. Now, you can see I've got my audio control spectrum analyzer set up here. And this does not only spectrum, but also does SPL readings. So I'm testing my Ender 3. I've got it set at uh, 70 dB, turned down by 10. So it's a 60 dB threshold for this display here. As you can see, it's picking up my voice just fine. And there's a microphone here. And the microphone is exactly 30 centimeters from the tip of the microphone to the front of the casing. And it's pointing towards the end of the rail there. And if you look at this now, you see it's so quiet, it's not even picking anything up. See? So I'll do SPL. So we're just a fan running. It's about 64 dB. Obviously it's picking up me talking, so it's quieter than me speaking over here by the camera. Okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to to do a print and I'm gonna see what noise levels it's generating. I can actually do a peak reading on here as well if I hold this button here down. It will measure peak. So it's got like a peak hold feature, so it'll show the maximum noise level. You see that? So that's another way of testing it too. So I'll start a print and we'll see what spectrum we get out of it, just from the noise levels, what the actual uh, frequencies it generates. And we'll see what the SPL is as well, obviously without me talking. What I'm going to do then, after I've done all that, is I'm going to install some of these dampers right onto the um, stepper motors. And we'll see if it makes it any quieter. In theory it should. We will be able to measure how much quieter it makes it, which is the good thing. Assuming of course it's still louder than the fan. Right, so I've started uh, working on this now. I've taken the stepper motor off the back here. Now the ones I've got here, these dampers, they actually had some pins sticking out here and here. So I've had to sand those off or file those off. Um, I'm going to fit two I think. So I'll just file those two pins off because there's no locating holes for them to go into. Alright, so I've got the motor on there now. Something else I did is this rail here because it's really narrow and the belt rubs on it. I mentioned this previously in one of the other videos I did. And when the, the uh, bed is down this end, the uh, belt rubs on the channel and catches on it. And no matter how you adjust this motor, um, it'll rub either here or on the bottom edge. So what I've done, I, actually, I happen to have a spanner just here, which is exactly the right width to force its way down this channel. All right, so it went in there, and you see there it stops as far as I went with it. Okay, And actually, I managed to get in there and just wiggle it around a little bit and just open it up a little bit, and it's actually folded over the really narrow edge that's on there. It doesn't matter, so it doesn't doesn't actually do anything there, so there's no harm in doing that. And um, and I've just folded it over a little bit and it's wiggled down all the way down the channel, down to about halfway. And that means the belt is no longer rubbing on that uh, on the sides of the channel. So it should actually help it to behave slightly better too and not wear the belt out. Okay, so I've got the motor off obviously and I'll start mounting the uh, damper to it. Now the interesting thing with this one here is that it's got this casing which has got the limit switch in it and it's got these long bolts like this which you hopefully see they go through this casing and actually secure the stepper through the plate so it passes through the plate so I've got to do this a little bit differently so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to manage it yet the one thing you've got to watch out for as well when you do this you also have to adjust these gears you have to lift those up the shaft you have to loosen those screws off lift them up the shaft and realign them so I have to check all that first before I try and reassemble it properly and just tweak that position. I've already done on the back one. These plates have got threaded holes in them. So they've got two just, just holes for the screws to pass through. And the other two holes are threaded. So you can just stick a screw to the plate and hold the, oh, hold the thing on there. 
But you've got to do those up pretty tight to make sure they're nice and secure because obviously you've got half as much holding it in place. So you need to have higher tension to hold enough friction. Now I'm not sure if I can get enough tension through this piece of plastic. So I'm going to have to look at that and see what I can do about it. So I've got the uh, setup done again. So I've got the dampers on the X and the Y stepper motors only, nothing else. Just going to start printing. Exactly the same setup before, 30 centimeters away from the fan cover. I'm printing exactly the same item as before, so there's no difference there. So, uh, she'll be exactly the same. Same part in the process, everything. Now, the um, Z axis, um, that motor's still unchanged, so that one's still noisier. But most of the movement's done by the X and Y. Anyway, there's a comparison. Actual real world comparison between dampers and no dampers with a realistic measurement. So this is an accurate piece of test gear. All good. So what I'll actually do is I'll move the microphone closer and actually see the spectrum of the, of the steppers. Might be interesting. See what it's doing. Anyway, it works. So, uh, well worth doing I think, that's definitely quieter.